Hello and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. We'll watch the Washington Mystics in this one as they go up against the Connecticut Sun. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. A nice shot by Bonner. You know, it's always interesting to match up the offseason expectations with the reality of a new season. That's what's so great about this league from a fan perspective, right? There's always something to look forward to, no matter where your team is. Well, both teams here, they're excited about the possibilities, and that can mean anything from developing young talent to winning a chip. Well, beyond the arc, Sykes can be pretty choosy, but she finds an angle she likes and drills it. Pass to Burton. Thomas outside. Harrington. Just five to shoot. That's in there. Alyssa Thomas with the assist. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Here's Melbourne. Pass to Sykes. To the middle. Here's Deladon. Second chance shot. And the layup is up layup and in. With the size to bully defenders inside, Deladon's a tough matchup for uh, really any opponent. Now here's Bonner. Burton. Thomas, guarded by Dolson. Thomas down low, working on Dolson. Thomas, good. Well, that level of toughness should energize Thomas's teammates. She invites contact from opponents. Now Washington went 19 and 21 in the 2023 season, falling in the first round to the Liberty. Yeah, getting swept by the eventual runner-up in New York. The Mystics going 19 and 20 in the expanded 40-game regular season. They ended up the seventh seed. Here's Melbourne. Over Carrington. Melbourne shot is off. To Burton. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Honor, no good. Now Melbourne. Back to Deladon. Launches it. Harrington grabs the board. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Now here's Carrington. Pass to Burton. Shoots a three. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Two minutes remaining in the first. Washington trailing. Sykes outside. Back to Deladon. Let's the three fly. Count it. Her Later, second make in four attempts. Off the pass, in rhythm, good night. Elena Deladon is automatic. Such perfect mechanics on her shot. Now here's Carrington. Pass to Burton. Flying her luck from deep. Rebounded by the Mystics. Elena Deladon on the wing. Bonner defending. Deladon, no good. Bonner, Deladon covering. Thomas a screen from downtown. A rebound by Melbourne. Pass to Edwards. Tipped away, stolen by Jones. In transition, here come the Sun. Lilana Bonner for three. That's in there. Alyssa Thomas with the assist. From beyond the arc, Delana Bonner can be very consistent. She makes those long-range shots look easier than they appear. Now here is Sykes. Deladon with it. Shot clock at five. Great D that time from Dewana Bonner. It's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. Down low. 
Jones inside. She's covered by Edwards. And it's going to be a three-second call. Now here is Sykes. Mabry covering. From past the arc, he got it up in time, but it's been ball for him. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Sun on top, they lead by three. Let's take a quick break and then it's on to the second quarter after this. second quarter getting underway no team gaining an edge so far and guys what's your take on the sun so far defense paying dividends for them through one coach has to be happy about their effort on that and just a lot of hustle now Samuelson pass to Austin back to Samuelson And here's Atkins. No good with the triple. And for the Connecticut Sun, their first year in the W was in 1999. They're still searching for that first title. Connecticut has been so close. Falling in the finals four times. A couple of those losses in a heartbreaking fashion. Sun fans are very hungry for that banner. Screen by Deladon. Let's it go from deep. And it's Atkins missing. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. I mean, maybe that's why she missed. Hey, yo, right here. Now here's Harris. She's guarded closely. Comes up empty down low. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Kone gets the bucket. The defender a, a little hesitant to get in her way as she bursts to the hoop. I'm not sure what was going on there. Now here's Harris. She's started by Samuelson. Harris can't hit. Outside Atkins. Pass to Austin. Samuelson outside. Atkins. Good on the three-point shot. With an unwavering work ethic, Atkins has just about mastered the three ball. And the Sun call time here. Both teams making substitutions here. Connecticut trailing. And here's Burton. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. It's good from long range. I love the poise and confidence Harris plays with. She doesn't hesitate on catch and shoot opportunities. Melbourne. 
Edwards. Eladon outside. Five on the clock. Out to Atkins. Shoots the three. And Bonner pulls it down. They had some box coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. It's Burton. Now here's Harris. Bonner outside. Three-pointer. And another three for Connecticut. They've been outstanding from three-point range this quarter. And the Mystics call time here. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into this second quarter. Well, the Mystics joined the WNBA in year two of the league back in 1998, and they won their first title in 2019. It took a long time, but it was well worth the wait, beating the Sun in a thrilling five-game finals. That 2019 team setting a WNBA record with a 115 offensive rating. They went 26-8 in the regular season. And you think about the all-time teams in the history of this league, 2019 Washington, they're in the conversation. Here's Melbourne. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Dolson. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. A myriad of moves and ways to score inside. Dolson is excellent close to the basket. And Thomas gets it to go. What an alert play. Uh, it's just a great job of uh, hitting her teammate on the move. Here's Melbourne. Pass to Deladon. Edwards. Brittany Sykes outside. Good on the triple. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here's Harris. Now Jones, Harris, to the paint, Marina Mabry draws the double, the three ball, Harris can't hit, she has been anything but her usual self this quarter, it's been ugly, Sykes no good, now a timeout called by Connecticut,
The Sun with the lead. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Thomas. Now Burton. Jones outside. Thomas. There's the three. And again, Connecticut no good. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Sun ahead, up one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. It's been quite the game for Bonner. I know we've said it about a million times already, but I'll say it again. He's had a great half, scored a lot of points. And in the end, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half she had. She can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Start of the third quarter here after a closely contested first half. Pass to Edwards. Sykes left side. Edwards. And she's going for the oop here. Sykes, no good. Maybe try to get a little too fancy on that one. Yeah, unless the alley-oop is wide open, never a good idea to force it. You said that right. Now here's Bonner. Inside. Here's Thomas. Can't get it to fall. The Mystics trailing. Pass to Edwards. Now here's Deladon. For the lead. That shot off. You can tell she thought that triple was gonna fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. What you love about Brianna Jones, she's an old school center. Well, she's not trying to stretch the floor, rarely takes threes. Jones rebounds, protects the paint, and she shoots a very high percentage. She shows there's serious value in that type of role still. Here's Melbourne. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Sykes outside. Pass to Deladon. Sykes. Edwards with the screen. From outside the arc. Sykes, no good. Not how you want to kick off the second half with these great misses. Now Burton. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. From deep, the Mystics pull it in. Sykes with the ball. She's got six. For the lead. Greens it from beyond the arc. They get one to drop. One of four here in the third. Connecticut trailing. And here's Burton. Pass to Carrington. Thomas outside. Burton. Shot clock at three. In deep. Thomas, no good. 0 for 4 to start the second half. They're getting restless out there. And here's Deladon. Bonner defending. Right side, Edwards.
Back to Deladon. Shoots over Bonner. Deladon, no good. She keeps trying to force it up when she's guarded, and she's just getting brick after brick. Here's my suggestion. Move the ball around. And the Mystics making a change here. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And no doubt, the leader of this Sun team, the versatile vet, Alyssa Thomas. Yeah, she got drafted by Connecticut back in 2014 and has spent her entire career with the Sun. Last year, finished second in MVP voting, led the league in total assists and rebounding, which is just something you never see. The tremendous IQ from Deladon gets her teammate an open look. She's such an underrated passer. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Good work there as it goes. The Mystics leading. Here's Melbourne. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Elena Deladon on the wing. Looking to get back on track. Again, the Mystic score. That's one way she can finish, but far from the only way. She's got all types of tricks up her sleeve. Now here's Harris. She's got five. Thomas the screen. And it's Carrington missing. Now Melbourne. And the call is going to be, yep, an illegal screen. Good call there. Her feet still moving when she set the screen. And she sort of lowered her shoulder into her, too. A uh, move you perfected, actually. But they were going to get her there one way or the other. The Sun on offense, trailing by five. Harris with it. Pass to Mabry. Takes the three. Can't hit that one. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Ball's knocked loose. And here's Harris. Luana Bonner on the wing for three. The shot, no good. The third quarter comes to a close. The Mystics on top. They're up by five. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. to start up the action in the fourth quarter and if it's anything like the first three we should be in for a treat it's Burton pass to Nelson Adota outside Mabry fires from deep Remounted by Kune. So it's Washington now. Five point lead, the biggest of the game. Outside Atkins launches a three, and the rebound goes to the Sun. Well, despite her ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options. Here's Harris. Oh. It counts in the foul. Ariel. It's going to be on Ariel Atkins. Soft touch around the rim. You don't want Harris to catch you out of position inside. And the free throw, no good. 
And the last time the Mystics won a playoff series was in 2019 when they won it all. Well, they got bounced in the opening round last year, which makes it three of the last four years where they've lost in the first round. The Mystics just haven't been able to replicate that 2019 run. For Washington, number five, Jade Melbourne. Sun on D. It's a three-point game. Shot clock at six. And she converts the layup. Yeah, whether by design or by accident, that was a very high-quality shot they created. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Burton. Connects from three-point range. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock in it. Pass to Melbourne. Deladon a screen. Here's Austin. Outside Atkins. From outside, off the mark. If only she can improve on what's been a shaky day for her, they could really stretch this lead out, don't you think? Burton gets the bucket. These defenders better start closing down their shooters. Yeah, that's too straight from long range. The Mystics trailing. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. The coaches, they saw their team giving up a lot of points and wanted uh, to get a break before it got out of hand. And that's a big part of a coach's job making sure you keep your players in the best position possible at all times. That's a great timeout. Melbourne. Sykes outside. Pass to Melbourne. Just five on the clock. Fires for three. And Bonner pulls it down. The Sun with the lead. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing in control. And she gets it to go. On offense, Bonner is just relentless. Refuses to back off and drains a much-needed bucket. Here's Melbourne. Pass to Edwards. And here's Melbourne. Sykes outside. Deladon with it. Can they get it? Just rebounded by Alyssa Thomas. Jones. Another shot. Back to Thomas. No luck. They battled on the glass, but just couldn't knock it down. To the inside. Edwards left side. And she was camped there in the lane. And 
she gets three second calls. Well, you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes, but in a close game, they really hurt. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Well, hopefully, for, from our standpoint at least, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. You can only hope. Now, here's Thomas. <laughs> and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and go to the line. A physical point forward, and Thomas shows a complete game. She can rebound, defend, and she's a monster on the break. Belladon, no good. And Connecticut has possession. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Oh, a Thomas attacking. Aaliyah Edwards, strong defensive effort. Pass to Sykes. And now they decide to foul intentionally. gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And she hits both free throws. And it's a seven-point ball game. The free throws go down, and the lead goes up. Washington calls timeout. This is pure desperation. You think there's enough time left? I seriously doubt it, Tim, but it's clear what they've got to do. Quick shot, foul, and hope for some missed free throws. You kind of think, why not at this point, Brian? Carrington back to Deladon shoots over Bonner and that time also missed the shot shot clock and game clock one second differential the three the Mystics pull it in and here's Melbourne hits it from three-point range that's what I call pretty passive timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. And 
there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those seconds away. Nope, and you've got to foul. It's going to come down to free throws. Pressure situation. So the first one drops, and that puts them up five. The second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there, and I think you can close the book on this one, guys. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. What's your take, guys? Yeah, they're going to need a miracle right now. They have to make a three, then foul, then hope the shooter misses the foul shots, both of them, and then make another three. That is not easy. Now here is Dolson. the win here this was a fantastic ball game and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them yeah they faced some challenges but held firm when they needed to defensively offensively effectively locking down the w's that'll do it for our broadcast everyone